on the inside. So you've got the tire on underneath the bed. So with the truck, you'd put it in the back of the truck. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's through access. So you got something long, you can go all the way through with it. You got good tires, fancy chrome rims. This is actually the high boy or the, what do they call it, off-road. This is the off-road A-liner. The reason they say that is because it has two steps here and because it has big like 14-inch uh, rims with 17-inch tires or 14-inch rims with larger tires. And it's basically higher off the ground. It's like 18 inches uh -huh. well, off the ground. That's good. So if you're going to go any place where it's kind of rough, you've got more access. Okay, so this is a weight distribution hitch. Weight distribution hitch consists of the actual hitch part, which... Uh, goes into my receiver then the hitch has two arms that go down underneath and are chained back up to cause um, a torsion which and then at the same time there's also a sway control arm that goes back onto the hitch so like so now if you're gonna tow this with a bigger truck you don't need this at all but I just got this little teeny short Jeep little teeny short Jeep means that you have to have weight distribution hitch um, Turn to the other side. Oh, let's just hop over. That's the brake disconnect controller. So if you somehow get disconnected, it um, it pulls that lever and the brakes get activated. Um, two propane tanks with a selector switch. Kind of light that works. Uh, what else? That was supposed to be down the whole time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we forgot to put that down before we towed it. Um, another compartment here. All the compartments do lock. That one there got the water hose in it. Another leveling pad. Okay, so another missing sticker right there. Missing sticker over there. Pretty good all around shape there. Ugh. Well, that's Speakers, we got okay, plug in light that works. For getting in and out. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so here you go. You can record me unset okay. now. Okay. Okay. So basically everything's working. Everything works. Yeah. It's just a little cosmetic stuff with this weird silicone yeah. junk. And then, you know, this like, looks like this was added on too to keep it from leaking through the corners. No, those are called gutters. Oh. Um, so part of the manufacturer how they how they did them. I see. And, okay. uh, it's actually pretty neat. There is a video on YouTube that you can watch that goes over how they construct these things. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's mainly styrofoam. Huh. The whole thing it, it, it's fiberglass and then styrofoam. And a thin, a thin uh, plastic sheet. Goes, so you you don't have a lot of wood, mm -hmm. and wood on is what rots on these trailers. I you see. Know? So to, to keep them so they last a long time, and use less and less wood. You want to put your um, vent down? You got the vent open on top. Yeah, of I gotta put the vent. Where did that little guy go? It's in the drawer. Here. Got it. Brand new. Uh, fantastic fan but this guy oh, you replaced it yeah I, I replaced it the, the, because the other one was kind of uh, really dirty mm. um, but this guy is a little bit he sticks out a little bit too far so I don't know if we can shorten him but um, 
At any rate, he has to come out because everything has to be flat. So one thing about these trailers is that at the at the hinge below, everything has to be below mm -hmm. that hinge. So you can't mm -hmm. fold this down, obviously, if there's something on the on the stove or on like the right counter. now how that cushion is up. Yeah. Come here. Mm -hmm. See how that cushion's up right there? That's too high. Mm -hmm. It will cause the, when you bring it down, to be in the way. Oh, it has to be done. Um, it's how I did it. Is I basically stored everything on this bed right here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'd have the bag of clothes and the food bat box and um, everything else. And then I had a 2x4 that went across from right here all the way over to right here. Um, two by four, it's not here right now. <laughs> it's not really a part of the trailer. Exactly. It's not trust me, you will probably have a two by four right there. <laughs> um, so, Jim, what's going on with this window here? Can you help me here? It looks like it's splayed out and I I'm keep worried about leaks. Hang on, let me check it out. So. See what I'm talking about here? See how it's bowed out a little bit? Oh. Usually you can oh, just you, you just kind of pop it back in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they're just plexiglass windows, yeah. so yeah. that. Yeah, so it popped back in. Yeah, yeah that's good. Good. Well, now I have it undone. Yeah. It might not be over this way all the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to kind of fiddle with it, and then it pops back in. Well, at any rate, if you the screwdriver, I could pop it over a bit. Yeah. It uh, probably needs some attention. Mm -hmm. so, oh, I was unset. So I got the handle. The handle goes back in the in a drawer. And I remove the handle. Make sure everything else is down. I got that one down. That one down. The two uh, back ones are undone. The front one's undone. Oh, amazing. Okay, got the door undone. Now we do undo that one. The whole thing comes down. You always do that side first. Yeah, yeah. And the door that side, side first second. And then this side. Okay. You know, because you got to come through the door. Oh, very good. Good. Thing. Yeah, all right. So uh, at this point, you think you're all done with the sides, but no, you got to flip this door closed. Yeah. Otherwise, you can't bring the, the thing down. Bring it down is pretty simple. You just start it, and then it does the rest by itself. It is spring loaded, but you mm -hmm. don't want your fingers in there either. So, um, I have a little hitch pin to secure it. Pull it down. And then, uh, go over. Do up the other side. That's amazing how simple that is to get that. Yeah, crazy. it's it's pretty easy. We we you know park the camper where we want it and then pop it up and we're done. <laughs> well. So I'm taking a look at the trailer and I'm taking a look at my driveway. Huh. <laughs> and I'm thinking, hmm. Yeah, I think it'll fit. Yeah, I think it'll we'll just park it back there. So if this all works out, Jim, and you do come back and put it in my driveway, would you put it up? Hang on a second, let me finish what I'm doing so I can give yeah. you my coffee.